So I'm on the Sonoma Coast, headed over to visit Joe and Steve Dutton. They're fifth-generation wine growers. They've, their family's been here for a long time. They farm over a thousand acres in Sonoma County. Um, but what I'm particularly keen about this time is I'm visiting a new vineyard of theirs. They haven't even put vines in the ground yet, and I want to talk to them about why this place, why do they think this place is going to be so spectacular for grapes? I'm here with Steve and Joe Dutton from Dutton Family and Dutton Ranch, and you guys have been farming here for how long? Joe and I are fifth generation Sonoma County farmers. So late, late 1800s, our family moved to Sonoma County uh, and started farming in the town of Santa Rosa. Grapes straight through? The family started with prunes through the early 80s, but during that time also farmed hops, string beans, pears, walnuts, hay, anything that we could, uh, that our family could make a living with is what they did. And so when was the big transition to grapes though? After my parents got uh, married in 1964, mm -hmm. moved to the kind of the west side here to to the where the main ranch is now, just outside of Grayton, and that's when they started with the first grapes uh, vineyard and apple orchard. So that's when kind of transitioned to, to grapes and apples, which we farm today. You've known each other all your life and your business partners. Is it, I mean, how does that work out? Is it? Early on, we both saw, I think we'd be better off together than apart or any, mm -hmm. so keep things going and, and keep growing and, and uh, making things happen. But there, I mean, there's only two of you, so there's not a tiebreaker vote, um, <laughs> or at least there's not a tiebreaker mm -hmm. vote I know of. Um, so how do you resolve when you've got... My mom's still around. Yeah, so there, yeah, are, there, okay. yeah. there is a tiebreaker. Our, 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 is <laughs> our, our mother is still around, absolutely. So yes. Got it. So, so. As long, as, if she's happy, then we can move forward. Yeah. Right. What does it feel like when you go into a store and you see multiple Dutton ranches all over the place? It makes you pr feel proud, yeah. Yeah. especially, you know, being in New York City and having dinner and there's on the wine list, it's there. Absolutely. That's, that's a, it's amazing that we do something that actually makes its way all the way across the nation. I think one of the interesting things about sustainability is that, you know, you can actually develop a property sustainably. Um, it, it, that development and sustainability are not mutually exclusive. And I was kind of curious, I noticed the reservoir that you guys are building, that's, that's actually serves a purpose in terms of sustainability, right? We built the reservoir to capture rainwater and it's going to be the water that irrigates the vines once they're planted. So we actually need the reservoir before the vines get planted to, so we can have some water to irrigate them with through next summer and keep them alive. For you, in terms of as, as being people growing Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, what kind of defines them for you? Here we're about six miles or so from the actual ocean. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so I think the fog influence here, the cool weather that we're going to get in the springtime, uh, as the, the grapes are starting to, to, to bud out, as we get into bloom, which is, you know, critical time of the year for crop setting a crop. So I think that we could have some cool weather out here. Whereas in Russian River, you, you know, you're farther inland, you're about 12 to 15 miles from the coast. Right. And that then you have much warmer weather, right? You have the fog influence, but daytime temperatures are higher. It's, it, it's, you know, you set, you know, Russian River, we set a crop. Right. Right. Unless it's some kind of really weird year. When you look at a piece of land like this, how do you realize that this is potentially great property? When we drove into the property like you did it's, and looked at the aspect of it, you know, with the view out towards the south, I mean, instantly we both were like, wow, this, this would be a great spot for Pinot Noir. We want Dutton Ranch to equal quality for when people see it. What an amazing place to visit. And you know, I'm pretty sure this is going to produce remarkable wines. The only hitch is we have to wait until 2021 to try them. <laughs>